Hey y'all, welcome to Lions Den Tarot. My name is Camille and I'll be doing the daily tarot for all signs and that is every single sign in the zodiac. Excuse me, for July 20th, 2021. Oh, wait a second, I'm jumping ahead, ain't I y'all? Yeah, no, July, July 20th, 2021, I was right. Now keep in mind that timing is fluid, okay? So if it fails to resonate with you for the 20th of July, it still may resonate with you in the future. Now, just know that if you are watching this, it is definitely something that you need to hear, okay? It may not be what you want to hear, but it's something you need to hear. Starting with the Work Your Life Oracle deck. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Angels, Ancestors, and God. What do we all need to know? July 20th, 2021. Trust the niggle. What is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? Listen to your son. Tell him something. All right. Thank you, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, and God. What else do we need to know? It's time to trust the niggle. Trust our instinct, our solar plexus, our gut. It's time to trust our sacral chakra, all that good stuff. Thank you, spirit guides. What else do we need to know? Thank you, angels, ancestors, and God. Thank you for the insight. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What else do we need to know? All right, the angel oracle deck. Listen to your intuition. Listen, we got the same thing back to back. Trust in the niggle and listen to your intuition. It's the same thing, y'all. Listen to your intuition. It's talking to you. All right, let's pull some affirmators tarot deck. All right. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, and God. What do we all need to know? July 20th, 2021. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What do we all need to know? All right, current situation for us all, July 20th. The Hermit, time to go within. What's driving us all? The Emperor. What we're all benefiting from. The Star, look at that. Three major arcana, back to back to back. And what's crowning us? Page of Wands, it's time to start something fresh. And the outcome energies. King of Cups, all about love, baby. yes. All right. Now we are going to pull the Celestial Tarot deck. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Angels, Ancestors, and God. Give us some bonus messages of what we need to know. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so the Celestial Tarot deck is adding Judgment, another major arcana. We have got four out of six tarot cards. All right, Ethereal Visions, what else are you wanting to add for us? Thank you, Spirit Guides, Angels, Ancestors, and God. What else do we need to know? All right, so the Ethereal Visions is adding Six of Wands. All right, let's go ahead and get into this reading. Trust the Niggle. That niggling feeling, that annoying niggling feeling, that inconvenient, annoying niggling feeling try as you might it's there and it ain't going anywhere 
Most people spend years ignoring their niggling feelings, throwing their best dollops of stubbornness, ego, and post-rationalization to numb them out. It's exhausting. And until you face the niggle, life just, throw, life just throws you more bait to awaken it, to draw your attention to the light within you that is bursting to come out. The niggle is an arrow pointing to what is standing in your way. The relationship, the conversation, the decision, the shift that needs to be made, the stone in your shoe. Often we feel the niggling feeling in our body first. Many people think that intuition is something from their higher realms, but in fact, it is the body that is the intuitive one. Working through our senses to deliver vibrational information, it takes just a moment every day to scan your body to receive the intuitive intelligence and act on it quickly. You are being called to face the niggle now. If you don't face it, the universe will throw something much bigger and more obvious in your path. And then you will likely regret that you didn't answer the niggle in the first place. I know it's scary, but you are safe. Answer the niggle now. What is your niggling feeling trying to tell you? Because you're moving on to listen to your intuition. Let it be your guide. Your intuition is completely reliable and accurate at this time. Listen to your own inner guidance and you can't go wrong. You can be certain that the messages you're receiving from your angels are real and trustworthy. Have faith in your feelings about the circumstances you're experiencing. Your insights into other people and their true feelings or motives are perfectly accurate. There is no need to question what you know is true. Listen to your guts. Because you're moving on to the hermit, which is you trusting yourself, okay? Major Arcana number nine. This curious character is the universal mascot of me time. Who knows what life has handed him? The important thing is he knows that the best way to deal is to retreat in a place of quiet reflection and fly solo for a bit. The hermit encourages you to clear your social calendar and fill your time with meditation, walks through nature, and possibly some feverent journaling. A little chapter of solitude will reset your mind, open your heart, and if you're anything like this old soul, lead to some life-altering wisdom. Dress code, long white beard, and gnarled staff. Here's the affirmation. I quiet my noisy mind and look within. To know myself is to realize I'm pretty okay with myself. Because you're moving on to the emperor, Another arcana. The wise father figure of the tarot has invited you into his study for a snifter of brandy and a frank chat about what it is you want from life. His influence can help you distill your many vague and overlapping dreams into a few concrete goals. He's the real success empowered deal. And he's carrying around a golden orb to prove it. Admire the determination and steadiness it takes to achieve such sway. Then find those qualities within and bring them front and center. If you do the work, you can accomplish anything. Just know it might take decades till you happen upon the exact right, this is definitely me kind of orb. Here's the affirmation. I definitely think I know I can. I think I know I can. I think I am totally, definitely, positive I can. Okay, because now you're moving on to the star, which is letting you know that you are a star. Like the OG version of Pound Blessed, this card unleashes a meteor shower of celestial gifts and restores your glowing faith in the universe. Shake hands with magic and let it mainline some prescription gray warm and fuzzy straight into your crown chakra. You'll remember what a radiant star you are. It won't stand for anyone trying to dim that light. Now go find your car keys so you can head out and shine bright. Here's your affirmation. I open my heart and enjoy this magical time of hope, inspiration, and renewal. Why? What's everyone else up to? Because now you're moving on to the page of wands, fire energy. It's time to start something new. 
This innocent youth might be just the Jiminy Cricket you need to ignite your genius and believe in your own potential. Follow the lead of the freest free spirit in the spirit world and start putting your creativity in the spotlight with a triple shot of verb. Hold the hangups. Judgment and fear might be useful in some pursuits like dodgeball or the Hunger Games, but they won't serve you now. So whatever your idea is, put it out there. The planet needs your voice, no matter how silly you once thought it was. Here's the affirmation. Fear is boring. I'd rather be soaring. And also speaking in rhyme, apparently. Now moving on to the alchem energies, the king of cups, water energy, love is in the air, love, 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 love. The king of cups is basically a black belt of emotional mastery, and he'd be more than happy to take you under his instructive wing. Hire him as your personal Zen master and let him show you how to feel your feelings with maturity, stability, and care for others. Honestly, it might get annoying to be around someone this perfect, but see if you can take a page from his book and run with it. This sort of balance will come in handy the next time you need to go to the DMV. Here's the affirmation. I watch life's events flow past me, and I maintain the mental equanimity of a calm, enlightened Zen master who's clearly never had his car towed in the dead of winter. And now we've got our bonus card, which is Judgment. It's the Celestial Tarot. Let's see what it says. Never gotten that one. Pluto, the inner judge. Lord of the underworld and judge of the dead, Pluto rarely surfaced. However, when he did, his helmet rendered him invisible, making it difficult to sense his presence. More often, Pluto draws us into his world to confront the truth. Pluto faces us through the shadows of the underworld. His gaze is fixed and penetrating, demanding engagement and honesty. Custodian of what has been buried alive, Pluto contains the complexes and patterns not adequately entered or physiologically complete, completed. When the card appears, it suggests that the past can be exercised through accepting responsibility for what has occurred. In this card, Pluto holds the riches of the underworld. Ultimately, this is the wealth of self-knowledge and self-empowerment constellated by the confrontation with the unconscious. See, intuition, listening to self. And then we got the six of wands in the ethereal vision. Victory, confidence, valor, and recognition, baby. So let's just get into it. Okay. You have got to trust yourself. You've got to listen to your intuition. Let your soul, your heart, your mind, your heart and your mind be your guide. Okay. Because it's time to go within self. Once you come within self, you can sit down and truly figure out what it is that you want for yourself because you are a star and the world needs to hear your voice so stop thinking that the idea that you have is silly okay it is far from silly it is time to continue to keep your emotional state in check go with it because that's what the judgment is telling you look within it's within is where you will find everything that you need to have the victory to have the success and the valor that is waiting for you in this life, okay? But you got to believe you are the catalyst. You are the only one that can make it happen. And if you doubt yourself and stop listening to your intuition and stop letting yourself be your own guide, you will definitely see the destruction in what you want. Stop hurting yourself, okay? Listen to your gut. It's talking to you. You just need to open up your earballs and your eyeballs to listen. All right. Thank you guys so much for coming to Lions Den Tarot. Make sure y'all subscribe to my Instagram, lions underscore den underscore tarot. And make sure y'all follow me on YouTube. Subscribe, Camille in the Lions Den. Thank you for bringing me your energy and start listening to your intuition. You're the one holding yourself back. You want this victory? You got to go for it.